Hi Pisces, this is your May 22nd through May 28th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love uh, this week. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Wands. We have the Two of Cups, then we have uh, the Fool, clarified by the Nine of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Magician with the Ten of Pentacles and uh, the Chariot, and we also have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, we also have Aries, Cancer, and Virgo on the table. Well, um, Pisces, I think you're going to like this. I think you're going to enjoy the show because this person is coming in and uh, if there are other people trying to, you know, get your attention, um, they will fight them off. As a matter of fact, this person is like borderline possessive of you. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but uh, I think this person is going to see you and uh, something will click inside this person's head right away. They will see you as the one they want to spend the rest of their life with and nothing is going to stop them. Absolutely nothing will stop this person. They will fight off the competition. They will fight for your full and undivided attention. All right. They will do all kinds of things for you. Okay. Um, walks in the park, taking you to a fancy restaurant, giving you stuff, things like that. And uh, it's like, it, you know, for some reason I thought of the expression, it's a gift that will keep on giving. You know, no disrespect to whoever it is coming towards Pisces, but I think this person is just very attentive. It's like they think of ways to please you, to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel good, and they want you all to themselves. <laughs> you know, I know it could sound a bit creepy, but it, it, it's not. It's not. All right? So let's, you know, dive a little deeper. So we've got the uh, Knight of Swords clarified by the Seven of Wands. This is a bit of an aggressive energy, right? But it's not... Um, aggressive towards you. It's not an aggression towards you. They could get a bit aggressive towards other suitors. If you have other people around you, that's they will. They're about to feel the rough of this person, right? Because um, the Knight of Swords, by the way, could be an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and it's also the fastest knight out of all four knights. So travel could be involved. They could come see you. They could literally come see you. It's if there is a distance between the two of you, it's not going to be a problem. You'll be. A, uh, seeing this person, <laughs> right? But uh, at the same time, out of all four knights, the Knight of Swords is the one to, that tends to get into fights, all right? But they're not fighting you, they're fighting of competition, and they're fighting for your full and undivided attention. The Seven of Wands Club fighting the Knight of Swords, this is them fighting off competition, fighting off other suitors, or this is them defending the idea, the notion that the two of you should be together. Right, the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. In this case, this is them wanting to hold on to you and never let you go. Like I said, a bit of a possessive energy, but uh, I think you're going to like it. I don't see you rejecting this person. I think you're going to enjoy this. All right, right next to that Knight of Swords, we have the Two of Cups. There's two people in the Two of Cups, right? That's you and them. And uh, it's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of... Um, unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page and feel the same way towards one another. All right, the Fool, clarified by the Nine of Cups, is right there in the middle. The Fool could be an Aries you're dealing with, but I think with the Fool, you're going to go for it. All right, with the Fool, you're going to say to yourself, you know what, I like what this person says, and most importantly, I like what they do. All right, so yeah, why not? Why not? It'll feel, it'll feel like an easy decision on your part, right? Because this person will uh, deliver, and they will keep delivering. Right, the Nine of Cups, clarifying the Fool, is a card of a wish come true. For some of you, it is a wish come true. Perhaps you always wanted someone like this. Somebody who is not wishy-washy, somebody who is, does not say things like, oh, let's just play it by ear and see what happens. No, this person knows what he or she wants. All right? And, uh, yeah, the Nine of Cups is also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, and I think that's the way you're feeling because this person is very attentive. Right? In the potential outcome, uh, we have the Magician with the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. The Magician could be a Gemini or a Virgo. You know, but the Magician, you know, they've got all the tools they need at their disposal. And again, this will translate in this person uh, doing all kinds of things for you to make you feel loved, to make you feel comfortable, and things like that. 
Okay, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> um, the Ten of Pentacles right there in the middle is a kind of a rock solid commitment. So yeah, this person will bring home the bacon. They know what to do. All right, they know how to fish. All right, they will provide. Um, the chariot right next to the deck could be a cancer you're dealing with, but the chariot is um, a victory, success. Uh, the two of you could be relocating when the two of you decide to move in together to another neighborhood, another state, another country, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, Pisces, I think you're going to like this. I think this person will provide. They do love you. And um, it's going to last for years and decades and decades to come. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Pisces, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Emperor, uh, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Hierophant, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and uh, the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Wow, Pisces. Um, if you are not married yet, this could change starting this week. <laughs> If you are already married, perhaps you have an anniversary coming up or something like that. Because this is big. This is major. Okay? Uh, the Emperor and the Harfin, two major arcana cards, right? And uh, two Aces, right? The Ace of Pentacles could be a proposal. Hopefully I'm not spoiling it for you. And uh, probably not because the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of waiting. It could have been you waiting for this, right? Then they, here it is, you know... Uh, a proposal or an offer to move in together, an offer to make it formal, efficient, an offer to take it to the next level. That's what this is. That's what it really is. Okay, for some of you, if you're already married, perhaps you could be um, moving in, into your new house. Perhaps you already purchased it and there is the escrow period and it's coming to an end and that's what you've been waiting for and now you can either start remodeling the house or you or your partner or actually move in. Okay, perhaps you were waiting for the remodeling to finish. Something big, something major, something the next level-ish, okay? <laughs> this is definitely a next level for you guys. Even if you're moving into a new house, perhaps this house is bigger and better, all right? Yeah, the Emperor could be an Aries, the Hierophant could be a Taurus, uh, but the Emperor is a husband or a future husband or a future significant other figure. Uh, the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. Or it could be educational in some way or it could be something formal and official. And two Aces, right? The Ace of Cups is all about love and the Ace of Pentacles uh, could be a proposal or you guys could be, you know, thinking of something long term or perhaps you're paying for a new house with that Ace of Pentacles. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, uh, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Uh, we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Ones, Justice, and the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra. Another Zodiac sign had a very similar reading. And it didn't really make sense for me to clarify anything, because this is a thanks but no thanks. This is a rejection, okay? Um, yeah, like... It's not even questionable. In your mind, uh, this is done. You already flipped the page on this person, and uh, it's a big fat no. Speaking of big fat no's, the Four of Cups, the first card I came out is a card of a rejection. All right? Uh, <laughs> it, you know, I could have stopped right there. All right? The Three of Wands, and the next card over, this is you who already turned your back to this. This is you who is already, you know, light years away from that. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made the final decision, and after that, there is no turning back. Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but with Justice card, yeah, you're, they're getting what they deserve. Okay, Justice could be the legal system, right? So it could be a divorce that's being finalized, or it's already final. The Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's you, and uh, you're doing good. You're doing good without this person. Perhaps you're, you've picked yourself up, you know, dusted yourself off, and now you are in the spotlight, now you've got other people surrounding you. And uh, you're enjoying this. All right? So, yeah, this is a no. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces. This uh, week we have uh, the Four of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Cups. Uh, we have the Two of Cups, uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Page of Swords, and the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Very specific uh, spread. Pisces, you are in the position of choosing um, between a couple of options or among multiple options. And um, perhaps you will even start this week by choosing. Or perhaps you've been uh, thinking about which of the options you want to move forward with uh, even prior to this week. 
And this week you will you will have the answer. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, the uh, Four of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups, these are very calm energies. These, these energies belong to a person who is not in a hurry. Somebody who is taking their time and they're choosing, right? The Four of Swords, perhaps this is you taking a little break to think things through, to wrap your head around this, to weigh pros and cons and things like that. The Seven of Cups clarifying it is a card of a multiple choice in this case and perhaps you're not a hundred percent sure up until this point as to which of the options you want to choose um the two of cups the next card over this is my hand shake card okay so there's definitely a handshake coming up there's definitely paperwork coming up agreements things like that the three of ones on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right this is i think you who is um Choosing who is making a decision. The three of ones is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, right? And it's this, this decision is final. After that, you're gonna move forward. The Queen of Cups, clarified by the Page of Swords, that's you. You're the Queen of Cups, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And I think the Page of Swords, clarifying you, is a message, right? So you're gonna be communicating to all parties involved and letting them know what your decision, what your choice is. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Pisces. Uh, we have the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, uh, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Now we have the Six of Swords and the Moon on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this could be directly or indirectly related to you, um, Pisces, but you're still a part of this somehow. The Moon on the bottom of the deck is your major arcana card, right? And uh, it's the only major arcana card we have on the table. What you're not expecting is either you or someone you know having to make a choice and they're making this choice okay um, it could be the same story as we saw in the uh, work business and finances spread but again it could be it doesn't have to be about work it doesn't have to be about money right and it doesn't even have to be you because we got a lot of fire the tail ones and the uh, ASO ones right it's kind of symbolic you see in the first spread I mean in the first card in the tail ones there's two ones right so the person in the two of ones is choosing, making a decision. And uh, the ace of ones, the next card over, is the one they are choosing. You see, uh, that person in the two of ones is holding on to just one of those ones, right? And that's the one they're holding on in the ace of ones, right? I, I hope that makes sense. It's just very symbolic. Somebody here is choosing one, choosing one of the options. In the six of pentacles, I find the ace of ones, another choice card. Okay, another choice card. The Six of Swords right next to the deck, uh, this is what happens after that. Um, forward movement, progress, relocating, you know, quitting one job, starting another job. Um, yeah, what have you. This is definitely a forward movement or progress uh, after that choice is made. And that's what you're not expecting. Alright, so that's what I have for you, Pisces, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing week.